Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. Thank you for joining me for another video on the X-T1, 2, or 3, depending on what camera you have. Uh, to sum things up, I had, oops, <laughs> I just had someone who asked me a question about these green little boxes that you get when you're trying to focus and how do you adjust them. And uh, I mentioned in that video that I'll leave in the description, which is kind of part one to this video, um, I mentioned that, by the way, before you begin, make sure that you have the S here and you have the drive knob on S here so you can follow along. I mentioned that having the square here means a single point uh, focusing, right? And you can adjust this by pressing the focus stick, which is right here. Now, if you have the X-T1, you don't have this, but you can also adjust it by doing this, right? And going very small to very big to even something called a zone where you have multiple squares. We covered this in the previous video, fine. Uh, the issue is the person I was trying to help mentioned that she was still getting the green squares. Hmm, very puzzling. So there might have been a, something I did not cover which I want to go over now. And that is if you go to the menu here, press with your right thumb and your menu might look a little different depending on what model you have, but most likely it's going to be very similar to this. So press the left arrow, so you go into this column and press right, I mean, sorry, go up or down, depending which way you're going, to AFMF. Now, before I mention that you should go to focus area, and if I press menu OK, it goes here where you can adjust this. Now, notice I can go from single point to a zone, to the big zone, wide zone, and all that, um, but... Some people may not be able to do that. And here is why, what I forgot to mention before. There's always something I forget to mention. Press menu here. Again, go left to the column, up or down. Go to AFMF. Press the right arrow. And instead of focus area, which we just explored in the previous video as well, go to AF mode. Okay, so, um, and remember guys, uh, your auto focusing should be on S. Your uh, your single shooting, you, you guys should copy my settings so that you can follow along. Otherwise, the camera behaves differently depending on how your settings are made, just so you guys know. Okay, so go to AF mode and notice here that I have the word all there. That means I can switch between, or the camera can go from AF modes from single point, zone, wide tracking, and all three at the same time, uh, that you can switch between them. I have all because I want to go from single point to wide tracking with my knob here that you see my right thumb doing, right? So if you don't want to deal with all that, you can just go to single point. Watch what happens when I select that. You see that little thing there has changed from all to single point. Half press a shutter button. Now I'm here. I can press the focus stick here. And when I adjust this, it doesn't go any bigger than one focus point. Okay, and that's if you want to constrain yourself to that, restrict yourself to that kind of uh, focusing. Now, if you don't want that, you want to go to all or something like that, press the menu, go back to AFMF, same thing, and go to AF mode. And the person that was asking this question was saying that no matter what she did, she was still getting those green boxes. And my guess is that possibly you're still on zone. You're only on zone here. Now when I half press the shutter button here, I can take a picture I'm using, I'm getting those green boxes, right? But if I try to adjust it by going to menu and go to uh, AFMF and go to focus area now and try to adjust it, I still can only mess with the zone. You see how it won't let me adjust single points or adjust to a single point. It only lets me adjust to what I'm constrained to here, which is zones. That's it. So if I don't like that, I can go to menu and go to AFMF and I can change the AF mode to zone, wide, or all. Or if you just like single point, keep it there. I like to keep it here to all. I'll select that and you can go to focus area here and adjust it to wherever you want. Now I'm flexible, right? I can go from single point to wide, wherever I want to be. I hope this helps you guys because now I press the half press shutter button here or uh, the focus stick, I can just adjust it where I want to be and then 
Now I can focus like this, but I'm still in the single point mode here. Okay, so um, if you're getting those green boxes, most likely it's because your settings are telling the camera, don't do anything but those green boxes. I hope this makes sense. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope this clears things up. I hope it helps you guys. For those of you who think your camera may be broken, I'm going to say it's not broken. It's just our settings that we need to learn to work with. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.